What's going on guys? I'm showing you guys how to overclock your PlayStation 5 controller for 2024. So it's a new method. Um, all you need, the link is going to be in the description. Make sure you guys go check it out. Once you guys get on the link, hit it. You guys are going to hit the third one down. Click on it. And then over here, it's going to be a little icon pointing down. Download it. It's going to pop up to the top right or wherever it pops up. Open the file. First things first, you're going to have to extract it from this file. So click on it. Click over driver. Extract all. And make a folder. I already have a folder. Um, I already have this downloaded and everything, so I'm not going to do this. Just extract all. I'm going to do it again just to show you guys. Extract all. It'll pop up the little folder. Hit driver. Go to setup. Hit over setup. Yes. Then it's going to pop up mice first. So make sure you guys have your controller popped up too right before you do all this. That's the first thing you guys should have. Have your controller parked up. Go to all. And then my controller is already overclocked. So your controller should pop up right here. And the first thing you need to do. Um, it's probably going to show like a 6. And then like a no or whatever. Um, you hover over your controller. You hit install service. Open. And then go to PS5 controllers or 8000. And then install service. And then the last thing you need to do is make sure you turn on filter on device. Once you do all these steps, unplug your controller. And then take away the controller. And then plug it back in. And then it should go from 6 to 1 and 8000 and yes. So... That is a good way to overclock your controller. Hopefully this helps. Hit that like button if it did. Subscribe for more content. And comment below what do you guys think of it. A non-overclock controller or an overclock controller? What do you guys think?